Students aren't the only ones that are cheating with ChatGPT. Teachers can do it too. What's up everybody, Nate McAllister. This is gonna be a really low budget video, but this is such a cool concept that I hope that you'll forgive me. I'm gonna show you how to take a list of facts or stats and turn them quickly into a multiple choice quiz. So teachers, this is your chance uh, to leverage ChatGPT to save some time. And then you can use that time to uh, go to principals meetings with all the students that you catch cheating with ChatGPT. All right, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna start with a list of facts and stats, whatever it is, and I'm gonna ask ChatGPT to turn them into multiple choice questions. And here, let's get into my computer and I'll show you. All right, so here we are inside of ChatGPT. Let's go ahead and start a new chat. What I did was I just, for this example, pulled some interesting facts about email, pretending I'm creating a test for like a marketing course. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to say, and I will put this down in the description so you can just copy it. Pretend you're a quiz generator. Turn the following stats into multiple choice questions. Have A, B, C, and D options. Format them as a table. Show the correct answer on the far right. And then I will just paste the questions. Okay, so I did lose the numbering, so let me go ahead. All right, it works better if you have numbers next to each stat. Now we wait. ChatGPT is far from perfect, as you all know. So it's important that we proof read and fact check these things. You're gonna look really bad to your students if you have incorrect answers on your multiple choice. I can't think of a faster way to lose all credibility. So let's go through and just spot check a couple of these. What was the open rate for emails with personalized messages in 2016? The answer is A, 18.8%. So let's check that here. The open rate for emails with personalized message was 18.8% and then make sure that the option corresponds correctly. So 18.8, answer is A, boom. So you saved a ton of time. You can spend a little bit of your time checking this, all right? I didn't wanna to get too spicy with this video and give too much info, but you could do a lot here if I wanted to. I could say, I wanna sprinkle in some true and false. Change some of those into true or false questions. Let's see what happens. It's just insane what it can do. It truly is. If you have some ideas in here, just ask it and see. It probably will give you some cool stuff. Look at that, it got it. And I could say expand on this, make it more questions. I'm not gonna tell you everything, that's enough. Go out, you guys are teachers, you're smart. You don't need me to teach you too much, right? All right. 